Yo, real quick, grab you some merch. Merch on sale, merch on sale, merch on sale. Fenarios.tv, Fenarios.tv, Fenarios.tv. Go over there, grab you some merch. Like, comment, subscribe, enjoy. Ooh, Fenario. Wow, that's crazy. So, um, how long have you two been together? 36 hours. <laughs> it's been 48. Shows how much you know. What are you talking about? It's literally been 36 hours and 33 minutes exactly. Nigga, it's been two days. Sure, whatever she says, Doc. That seems a little soon to need couples therapy. Um, I see you two have on promise rings. Oh, <laughs> this, yeah. I wish I could say it's a promise ring. Yeah, no, no, no. Nothing about this is a promise ring at all, Doc. Wait a minute, so are you telling me that you are... Fucking big, fucking right, fucking running, had a hell of a night. Had too many drinks, got me like, fuck my life. To my shot, want a ring in the night. Fucking big, fucking right, fucking running, had a hell of a night. Had too many drinks, got me like, fuck my life. So let me ask you this, and this is simply just a test about how you feel about your partner, okay? Um, Candace, would you slap him for a thousand dollars? No, what, Doc? Not even about the money. Hmm. Interesting. Why is that so interesting? Her wanting to abuse me is interesting? And what are you writing? Um, just notes. I just want to gauge where we are on the spectrum. That's it. The spectrum? Yeah, um, spectrum, okay. Now, is this relationship uh, on a spectrum of fucked or happily ever after? <laughs> oh, we are way past fucked, okay? <laughs> Yeah. You're gonna need a bigger spectrum. <laughs> so, where did we start and how did we even get here? So, I finally went out with that guy. And let me tell y'all something. We went for dinner, then we had drinks, then we got in his bed and it was nice. I know what you ladies are saying, Shawnee. You let him hit on the first night, bro? But you're damn right, I did. It was way too much sexual tension for me to let that thing go to waste. <laughs> and it was worth every stroke. Ladies, I wanna hear your freakiest sex on the first night stories. Call in right now. Ew, why do you listen to this? Like out of all the podcasts that you could possibly listen to, you listen to this one. It's like Hoes Anonymous. And it's not. Cocktail is all about women empowerment and women taking ownership of their sexuality. They did a whole segment about how to keep a man and I follow her thing to the T. Girl, how you think I caught James to propose and marry me so fast? <laughs> their tips, it got me to the point where James does not play about me, baby. <laughs> Speaking of, don't you think this outing seems a little, I don't know, unnecessary, maybe a little even counterproductive. And why would you say that? Look, you need to get out the house more. How long has it been, what, eight months since you've been out on a date? Huh? What is wrong with you spending time with your big sister and meeting some nice guy in the process? Well, it would be nice if I was just hanging with my big sister, but it's not that. I'm hanging with her, her husband, and all her married, bougie friends. And I swear, if one of those girls comes up to me and is like, Candace, so when are you gonna tie the knot? I might just break her perfectly manicured ring finger. Look, it will not be like that, I promise. And plus, these are your friends too. The only time these girls was ever concerned about being my friend is when I had a man and they didn't think I was a threat to stealing theirs. And I just don't need that type of single bashing in my life. Look. And it hasn't been ate anything since the last time you tried to set me up. Remember the nightmare that was LJ? Um, LJ? Um, um, I don't remember. Uh, oh, you don't? No. 
Well, let me remind you. All right, so three guys walk into a bar, right? None of them have money to pay for the tab. So the bartender says, if you show me 21 inches, I'll let you guys go. The first guy pulls out 10 inches, right? So they're good so far. Mm -hmm. Second guy pulls out another 10 inches. The third guy pulls out and it's one inch. Now they all get outside because they get to go scot-free, right? So the first guy's like, you guys better be glad I had 10 inches. The second guy's like, no, you guys better be glad I had 10 inches. The third guy's like, you guys better be glad I had a boner. God, I'm having such a great time. Your sense of humor is so refreshing. Well, is it now? It is. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> so before I get in my bag and start planning date number two, I have to ask, what do you think you bring to the table? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Excuse me? Yeah, you heard me. What do you think you bring to the table? I mean, let's be honest, look at me. It's not like I need anybody else that's gonna be an extra bill or an extra headache for that matter. So before I spend any more resources on the situation, I got the right to ask. Not you acting like you did the most. We are having dinner at a restaurant that I've been to a million times. Not you acting ungrateful. It's given modern woman. Whew. I see why you're still single. The least I can get is a thank you. Ungrateful? Ungrateful. We haven't even made it through appetizers yet, and you want me to find something to be grateful for? Whoa. Your red flags are shining brighter than the American flag at the Super Bowl. I see why the Godfather tells us to stay away from these modern women. It makes sense. The Godfather? Yeah, you know, Kevin Samuel. The Godfather are regulating these hoes. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that'll do it. <laughs> that'll do it. You do not have to worry about me. You do not have to worry about me. It was just a question. What the? I'm gonna kill my sister. Oh, well, less of a headache now. Really? I could have sworn he told me that y'all had a really good time. Okay, well then he's a liar too, because it couldn't be further from the truth. And if I ever see that pick me ass nigga again, it'll be too soon. Oh, well look at the time, too soon. Excuse me, what? Look, um, I forgot to tell you, I invited LJ to the party. Oh, you have a good night. <laughs> no, 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 no. These heels are suffocate my baby toe. And you're going to this party, okay? Put a smile on your face. Get your attitude together. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Booze. I'll be that way. Okay, I'm gonna talk to James. Couldn't help but notice you from across the room. Well, LJ, I wish you would unnotice me and go back to whatever side of the room you just came from. Damn, you still mad that I inserted a little more honesty than you were ready for? No. Look, I don't even think about you to be mad. Well, I appreciate you putting something on the bill. Didn't cover your whole half, but it's cool or whatever. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I was kidding. I was kidding. That was just, just a little joke. I was trying to lighten the mood, that's all. I know what you were trying to do. You like to get a bitch riled up. <laughs> I actually came over here to apologize. I realized that my stance was probably a little harsh. I think maybe I was just a little nervous to be sharing a table with such a beautiful woman. <laughs> Well, you know what? Keep your apology. I'm not even tripping. Well, the apology has already been apologized for, so I'm not taking it back. How about you? Let me buy you a drink. The drinks are free. Okay. Well, then how about I make you a drink? <laughs> Fine. Fine. <sighs> Shots? <laughs> Whoa, damn! <sighs> Just fuck me then. You wanna gonna at least let me toast? Maybe you should keep up. <sighs> okay, fine. <clears throat> How 
about we so, try this again? <laughs> what exactly do we have to toast today? Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Do you, Candace Jones, <laughs> swear to forgive the past transgressions that we've had? You've had, but I do. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, did we? Are we? Fucking Mary? Mary! What is this? What did you do to me? What did I do to you? Well, first of all, you put your greasy little massage next hands all over me, and then you marry me? <laughs> if I find out you knocked me up, <laughs> I will kill you. Too soon to tell you that I probably think we went wrong. Oh my. Okay, listen, trust me. This is not a situation that I want to be in with you either, okay? This says something different. What the fuck? Like, where the hell were we even gotten married at in the middle of the night on a Saturday? So many questions. <sighs> <laughs> well, from what I remember, you rode this dick like a rodeo last night. You're such a dick. Look, put your dick away and let's figure out what exactly you did to me and how to undo it, please. Where's the accountability? You know it takes two to say I do, right, sweetheart? <laughs> did you not hear me say please? Or are you just gonna ignore that like you do every other time I'm speaking to you? Listen, Brainiac, it's Sunday. What does that even mean? We gotta get it annulled. To get it annulled, we gotta go to court. The court doesn't open until Monday morning, so oh. there's nothing we can do. Wait, wait, so you're telling me that I have to be married to you until tomorrow? <laughs> I guess. Oh my God. Okay, okay, it's just one day. It's just one freaking, oh, oh. When you're done with your little pep talk, you wanna let me know? <laughs> Get out of my house. Damn, you're not gonna walk me out or nothing? At least make your husband some breakfast? Too soon? You know what? Get out. Damn. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure you could find your way out, but since I'm late to meet my girls for brunch, let's go. <sighs> Fine. Jesus Christ, how the fuck did I end up married to a bitch overnight? God damn it. Hurry up! <sighs> Where are your shoes at? Look, they're in the car, mind your business. Okay, so look, I need you to meet me at the courthouse at Monday at 8 a.m. And don't be late. I don't want to be married to you any longer than I have to. All right, my little wife. Mm. And don't tell your sister. She probably killed both of us. Let's do this. You're late. What are you talking about? It's eight o'clock, I'm right on time. In my world, that's late. Oh my God, whatever. Look, let's just get this over with. I don't want to prolong this any longer than we have to, okay? Agreed, let's, let's do this. You know what, actually, you look really nice today. <laughs> oh, if I'm gonna do anything, I'm gonna look good. <laughs> LJ, you could have just said thank you. I could have, just like you could have said that I was on time, but you didn't. You know what, how about this? How about you go find us some seats and I'll go make sure that we're checked in, okay? You might actually be wifey. Look at you taking charge. Don't touch me. Like that. <sighs> Feisty. Oh, 
couldn't find seats right on the judges' lap? There is just no pleasing you, is there? Ah. All right, all rise for the honorable judge, Petty. Oh my God. Wait till <laughs> all right, all right, everyone. How is everyone doing? Bailiff, you okay? Good, you straight? Yes, I am good as well. What we got on the docket today? It's kind of cool, you know, it's, it's, it's weird. I, mean, I can touch stuff this time. Yeah, the real thing, upgrading. Appreciate you, appreciate hey. you. Okay, we got a hit and run, battery and assault. My bad, that, that's me. My bad, that's you. Long story short, my PS5. We'll talk about it later. Oh, we got an angry baby mama and a, oh, I ain't done one of these in a long time. Let's start here. Can I get a, uh, Candace Jones, Jackson, Jackson Jones? <laughs> it's Jones, Your Honor. <laughs> what? I just want to make sure you got it right. Okay, Candace Jackson and LaGuardian Jermaine Jackson, would you please approach the stand? Here. Your whole name is LaGuardian Jermaine? It's a long story, okay? Tell me about it. Come on. <sighs> Your Honor, before we get started, I just want to um, make this clear. My name is Jones, Candace Jones. Sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, so as I read the file here, it says that the two of you are here for an annulment of a marriage officiating in 36 hours ago. What's the story on that? Well, I... So basically what happened was we went on a date a couple weeks ago. Um, it was horrible pretty much thanks to him. And then fast forward to Saturday, we were out. My sister made me go to this party that I didn't want to go to, but she invited him, but didn't tell me. And he came from across the room and I told him to go back to whatever side of the room he came what from. She talking? And he in short, your honor, there was an excessive amount of drinking, which led to a uh, something that happened. And that happened was this, and that we just kind of needed to unhappen, if you would, please. <laughs> Basically. Right, right. So, Bailiff, you tell me if I'm correct or not, but all I heard was two irresponsible individuals who do not take the sanctity of marriage serious. That's what I heard. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, 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 not at all. Like, I love marriage. I hope to be married someday, <laughs> just, <laughs> just not to him. <laughs> Judge. <laughs> Okay, well, Miss Jackson, today... <laughs> Judge, maybe it's because you're a little bit older, um, so you don't have the best memory, but my name is... Sh shut up. My name is Jones. Candace Jones. Not Jackson. Okay? Thank you. She just interrupted me? She brave. She bad and brave. I give her that. Okay. She, she just interrupted me. Okay. It wouldn't happen to me. It wouldn't happen to me. Okay, all right. Wow. Okay. In the case and the annulment of Candace Jackson and LaGuardian Jackson, they're not. What? Yes. Uh, because you all do not take the sanctity of marriage serious, I am ordering you two to stay married for 30 days, you understand me? With 10 hours of couples therapy on top of that. Now we are gonna do this the real way and the right way. You will stay married under the same household. That will be all the cases I will be taking at the moment. Um, I would no longer like to hear anything else. I got a young thing marinating in my chambers. Oh, before I forget, before I forget, uh, no side holes for the two of you. Not one hoe, not two hoe, no hoes, because I know how your generation like to do. Y'all like to whip and dip, flip and trick. Bailiff, if you could meet me in my chambers with a blue chew and a Red Bull, that would be much obliged. Case is dismissed. That hurt my heart. No hoes? You know what? Ooh. I'm pretty sure he knows somebody that I can talk to, like, just to report this at the oh, right now. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse me, sir. Uh, Girl, Ooh. What, what's going on? <laughs> I just wanted to know if there was someone that we could talk to besides that judge, maybe a higher up judge, because I don't understand why that judge would use this situation to set precedent. I don't know why he's trying to set an example. Like, I didn't do anything to him. I just wanted him to get my name right, you know? Um, okay, you see, um, how about this? I can throw you in jail for 30 days. Yeah, and you can probably change, have a change of heart. I'm yes. not scared to go to jail. No, 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 thank you, officer, so much. I'm gonna just take my wife off. Oh, yeah. Come on. Yeah, have a good one. Mazel tov. See, see, that's your problem. You scared of jail? I ain't scared of no jail. Yeah, you say that until they pass you around for cigarettes. Let's go. 
<laughs> so yeah, that's, uh, that's basically what happened. Yeah. So, um, have you decided whose house you're going to live in as a couple? You need some help? No, I'm fine. You sure? Mm-hmm, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, there you go, almost. Mm. A few more. Ugh. A few more steps. Well, um, welcome home, wifey. At least for the next 30 days, that is. Yeah, whatever. I still don't understand why we can stay in my spot. What do you mean? We already talked about this in therapy. As nice as it is to bang cheeks out in your small one bedroom loft, you got good acoustics in there. It's just not gonna work for you, okay? I'm just saying, it's comfortable and it's cozy. Yeah, and I got a whole house with more than just one room. <laughs> you see? Yeah, where's my room at? Okay, let me, um, your room? Um, okay, baby girl, hold on. First off, I think that we should just abide by the judge's ruling and we should just do this thing, as he said, living as husband and wife in here. <laughs> Look, honestly, the first time was an absolute blackout, but the second time won't happen because you're never touching this again, okay? Look, all I'm saying is that I don't want to do anything to make them extend this sentencing longer than they have to, okay? Guess what? And the only way the judge will ever find out is if you tell them. Okay, but do the judge. Oh, this is going to be a long 30 days. <sighs> Ew! Wait, you eat like this every day? Okay, I'm trying to cut down on my takeout bill if that's okay with you. Yeah, you're gonna catch up on a doctor bill you keep eating this trash. Has your mom ever told you that it's rude to turn your nose up at other people's food? Hmm. Look, you got any pots and pans in there? I'm trying to make me a real meal. Yeah, in the kitchen. So, you don't wanna, you know, show me? You're no longer a guest, wife. So find your way around the kitchen. Mm hmm Being a widow right now doesn't seem so bad. <laughs> What's that? Nothing, hubby. Murdering myself if I could. Candice, Candice, hello, hello? Oh my God, girl, we was definitely over here planning your funeral. Man, mom almost jumped your door, man, because you went buzz us up. Are you okay? Oh, you're so dramatic. Look, I just haven't been home, but I'm okay. I just been trying to figure some things out. Well, speaking of fine, I saw that you and LJ left the party together. What happened? <laughs> oh my God, you are so crazy. The man just gave me a ride home, so I wouldn't have to wait for an Uber. That's it. Well, I was hoping that you rode him home. But I guess that was just wishful thinking, huh? No, no, no. Delusional thinking is more like it. Look, at least I can say I can be in the same room with the man and not want to kill him. Well, look, sis, I got to go. I'm about to start cooking, and I want to focus. I don't want to burn anything, okay? All right. Well, bye, baby sis. I love you. I love you, too. James! Why you left all these damn dishes in the sink? I'm so sick of this man always leaving. I'll be sick. And how was Tawny? Ew! Nosy? How do you know that was her? 
How do you know that wasn't some man coming to sweep me off my feet? <laughs> One, because you ain't got no man. That's probably why you're walking around here so unsatisfied with life. Oh, so you think I'm unsatisfied with life because I don't have a man around all the time? <laughs> Your plethora of females doesn't make you any happier than me. Touche. Touche. But at least I'm relieving my stress. Relieving the stress? How? <laughs> By stroking my hose down. <laughs> Ew! See, and you don't understand why I went in my own room. I mean, I am always down for an audience. You know what? You really are a mess. Oh, speaking of hoes, that's probably one of your hoes right now. Believe it or not, I don't actually have any hoes. But there's probably some bozo here to sweep you off your feet. So you say. Well, that bozo would need to know that I'm here in this ludicrous situation to even come get me. Good boy. Well, maybe you should just go check and see who that is before they break the doorbell. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Mom, what the hell are you doing here? Finally. Well, don't tell me you're gonna let all this fineness stay out here and get cold. No, no, um, I just think that now may not be the best time. Are you guys in love out here? No, no, um, just you didn't call or text or anything. Mm. Well, you know how when you come back from out of town and you're craving wings? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, right, you're, you're my wings. So tell whoever you got up in here, <laughs> she gotta go. And I'll return you when you're good and drained out. Cool, um, okay, you uh, know what? <laughs> I, I got a lot going on right now. I don't think that this is the best time, so maybe we should reschedule. Hey, honey, who is this? Who the hell is this? Wow. I'm his wife, baby girl. Now, how can we help you? <gasps> so wait a minute, you're telling me you were just wine, dine, and dicking me down? Two weeks ago? And you're married? Wow, you niggas are unbelievable. <laughs> and you're stupid for sticking with him. I allow my man to have his hoes, just not hoes like you. Now, if there's nothing I can do for you, have a good day. You will never touch, taste, or bite this Godiva chocolate ever again. He likes Starburst anyway, bitch. What's that? Why are you doing all this? Well, that's taken care of. And what was that? <laughs> Look, little Miss HBCU was not finna call me or anyone else a hoe when she showed up with her titties out trying to get some meat. And she was gonna get some. <laughs> well, so what happened to what the judge said? By the book. Living as husband and wife. No sign holes, remember? Okay, yeah, I remember what the judge said. And to me, it sounds like you're trying to keep all this to yourself. Now, I'm cool with that as long as you uh, hone down your wifely duties. <laughs> well, heavy, you know what they say. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> you know what they say, once you get married. You don't have sex anymore. Good night. No, 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 wait. You Ah, this is the second time. Let me close the door. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. One more time. One more time. Woo. Woo. Ah. Here we go. Oh, you need some help? No, I'm fine. You sure? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, I'm fine. Okay, there you go. Almost. A few more. A few more steps. Well, um, welcome home, wifey. At least for the next 30 days, that is. Yeah, whatever. I still don't understand why we can stay in my spot. What do you mean? We already talked about this in therapy. As nice as it is to bang cheeks out in your small one-bedroom loft, you got good acoustics in there. It's just not gonna work for you, okay? I'm just saying, it's comfortable and it's cozy. Yeah, and I got a whole house with more than just one room. <laughs> you see? Yeah, where's my room at? 
right. Okay, let me, um, your room? Um, okay, baby girl, hold on. First off, I think that we should just abide by the judge's ruling and we should just do this thing, as he said, living as husband and wife in here. <laughs> Look, honestly, the first time was an absolute blackout, but the second time won't happen because you're never touching this again, okay? Look. All I'm saying is that I don't want to do anything to make them extend this sentencing longer than they have to, okay? Guess what? And the only way the judge will ever find out is if you tell him. Okay, but do you Oh, this is gonna be a long 30 days! <sighs> Well, hello, little Miss COVID. <coughs> you are so dramatic. I told you I got a test and I am COVID negative. Thank you. Oh, well then that means you don't need my special tea because it only works for COVID, so. No, no, bring me my tea here. You think you're gonna be all right with me gone for a few hours? I've been mean, going this long. Where are you going anyway? Oh, you know, kickball tournament. <laughs> <coughs> this nigga plays kickball. You are a real fucking loser, you know that? You know what? That's probably why you sick, because all that shit talking you be doing. Whatever. Good luck with your little cold. Take deliveries on Sunday. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. How do you forget your key? All the uh oh, hi. Well, who is you? Miss uh, Pretty Face. I am LJ's uh um his friend, his friend Candace. Oh, well, I wish I had a friend or two like you. Candy, can you taste like candy? Way you walk. And I'm Uncle Leroy, the boy uncle. Uh, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, okay, Uncle Leroy. Well, LJ's not here right now. He had a he had a tournament, a kickball tournament, that's what it was. Um, so you should be back in a couple hours, okay? Well, I'm here now. I drove 45 minutes on a wheat bladder and a suspended life. Show me to your neighbors. Come on, people. Oh, Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So y'all, this man has not been responding to my emails, answering my calls, and he had the nerve to leave my text messages on red since like mm. maybe mm, that Sunday. So I did the unimaginable and I popped up on his ass. What? <laughs> and not just any pop up. I pulled up, oiled up in my best I know that's right, girl. lingerie. I look like a melted Hershey bar, y'all. And I topped it with my Fashion Nova pink puff coat. They hit all my curves just right. And my seven inch fuck me heels. Ladies, you would not believe what happened. What happened, girl? He opens the door and basically tries to kick me out before I even get in. What? And then some basic bitch comes out of nowhere. And guess who she is? Who? She's his newly married wife. What? Now you know I had to do my digging. Mm-hmm. And girl. I found a marriage certificate. And I don't like to name drop, I really don't. But today's special, LaGordon Jackson and Candace Jones, or <laughs> let me say Jackson. What? Congratulations on your wedding. It was ugly, by the way. What the fuck? Mm -hmm. And good luck with him, Candace Jackson. Cause that nigga a dog. I know you fucking lying. They're all dogs, they're all dogs, and that's why I tell y'all I don't want nothing to do with them. Nothing. Not one thing. It's like, <laughs> what do we need them for? What a waste of time. Sure. The dick wasn't even that good. Right. <coughs> <coughs>
Okay, all right, had to drain the main bank. <laughs> Damn me. <laughs> oh, hold on. You ain't got that COVID, do you? Oh, you are LJ's uncle, all right. But for your information, no, I don't have COVID. I got a test done and everything. Oh, okay. All right, I ain't know. But his uncle? <laughs> I am the man responsible that gave you the boy that is known as La Gordon Jermaine. And <laughs> that got my blood on it, you understand me? Now, the question is, is you the sneaky link or you the main thing? <laughs> I think for more than that. Huh? What's that? <laughs> you know what? Uncle Leroy, can I get you something to drink? Oh no, I'm okay, baby girl. I don't need nothing to wet the whistle, but you, you look like you could use some of my surefire remedy to cure all things sickness, <laughs> includes COVID. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that tea again, is it? LJ made me some before he left and I couldn't stomach it. That's probably because the boy ain't making it right. I tell him that all the time. If he would have, you'd be back up pop locking and tic tacking in no time. I got you, don't worry about it. Oh. Oh, man. That's what's wrong with y'all generation. Y'all always want instant results. Y'all never want to put in no work for nothing. Who? How you gonna get it to work if you don't take the whole thing? A little dash of that, there we go. There we go. Coming right up, got you some of that hot and steamy. Go ahead and take some of that, baby girl. Mm -mm, there you go. I uh -huh, burn the throat. Your throat is <laughs> There you go. Oh, yeah. mm. uh. So I guess you would be the man to ask all of those serious questions about our sweet La Gordon. Well, you can ask him. I can't say that I'm a disclose, you know, <laughs> broco and everything, you understand? <laughs> Uncle LaVoy, what do you know about broco? Well, I know that I would break it to get next to it, thin him and swirl like it. <laughs> I know nephew don't know what to do with all that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uncle Leroy, you just too much man for me. You probably right. Uncle Leroy pushing P. <laughs> <laughs> so how did LJ get a name like LaGordon anyway? Oh, that's a funny story. So his daddy didn't want to pay for an ambulance to get him to the hospital when his uh, mother's water broke. So he drove all the way down 85, 100 miles an hour to get that boy down there to that hospital, you understand me? Uh, and we called him Jeff Gordon. <laughs> and the lie, that come from a family thing. Got my daddy blood on it. Oh, okay. That's not what I was expecting at all. Oh, I got stories for days. I can tell you when he pissed the bed, when he was scared of the dog. I can tell you when he got scared. I can tell you when he got his first pubic hair. And I can tell you when he got, when he got caught stroking the turkey, if you understand what I'm saying. <laughs> stroking the turkey? The turkey. What's, what's that? Well. You got a base it and then you know it. You, you know what, Uncle LeRoy? I don't need to know. It's fine. You know, keep that a family secret. James! James! Did your best friend fucking marry my sister? Oh, hey, Tawny, what's going on? Did you fucking marry my sister? Huh? All right, all right, man. <laughs> All right, you know what, Uncle LeRoy, you are really something else. You gotta just take the uncle off of it, you understand me? Because uh, in case I would decide to put a ring on that finger of yours, it might make it weird. Yeah, well, LeRoy, it was nice meeting you. Yes, yeah, you tell nephew I stop by now, sweet face. <laughs> okay. All right now. Hello. Hey, hey sis, what's, what's wrong? Who died? You if you don't get to my house right the fucking now. Fuck. Have a seat. Are you, are you okay? Is he okay? No, am I okay? 
Candace Denise Jones. Oh no, I'm trying to say Candace Denise Jackson. You want to tell me what the hell is going on? And why did I have to find out that you fucking married through a podcast? Oh, we we made it to the podcast that you love so. Candace, cool. If you're not gonna answer my question, then shut up. Look, Tony. Shut up, Tony. Tony, yo, yo, chill, chill. Like, I get that you're upset at your sister and all, but she just trying to talk to you. Tony, Tony, baby, come on. Okay. Fine. Fine. Let's talk. What happened? Look, Tony, I would be lying if I said I fully remembered. Well, that helps. Um, so why are y'all still married? Is this something that y'all want? We went to the courthouse and we were trying to get it annulled, but the judge denied it. But only for like 30 days. So we just got to follow a couple rules. Like? Well, we have to go to couples therapy for one. We have to live together. Mm -hmm. And he can't have no side hoes. We, we can't have any side hoes. Okay, fine. We can't have any side hoes. So it's just a traditional monogamous marriage, at least for the next couple weeks. So are y'all having sex? Hello? Technically, no. But the night of the game night, I did jump off the dresser and that thing. Fucking ew. Not the time, oh. remember? I don't want to hear that. I was in that thing. Cheryl, what I got. Fucking Oh, well, you're up early. Yeah, it's a little hard to sleep when you got a black eye. You know, some ice might actually help that. Yeah, sure, I guess. <laughs> you know, I will say, this whole situation could have been a lot worse than it was. Yeah, speak for yourself. I mean, you were the one who told me not to say anything. And out of all the girls you could be fucking, you're fucking the one with the most infamous podcast in Atlanta. <laughs> well, uh, you the one that decided to throw the marriage in her face. Oh, not blaming me. <laughs> Look, next time, I know the right questions to ask, okay? <laughs> I mean, I can kind of see where the girl is coming from, though. You gotta admit, she had a little bit of a point. You went from wine, dine, and dickmatizing the girl to a whole married man. I probably would've outed your ass too. It's just so crazy to me that women can never take their L's in private. It always gotta be publicized. And I guess it don't help that my wife is actually fine as fuck. Well, you know, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you finally realized a bitch is bad. But you know, I really wanted to actually thank you for standing up for me in front of Tawny. Lord knows, that girl would probably still be in my ass. Yet I'm the only one that walked away with a black eye. <laughs> but Tawny always been like that since college. Longer. Remember, I grew up with her. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. So how about this? You know, as a thank you, I want to take you out today. You know, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Just to like the movies or something. Well, I kind of got some other things and plans. Uh, so maybe if I can move some things around, I'll like let you know. Yeah. Okay. Hello? Hey, um, I made some plans with my wife, so I'm actually have to cancel. I'm sorry. Oh my God. You are so crazy. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna go get ready. Meet me down here in 30 minutes, okay? Whoa, 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 whoa. No woman is ever ready in 30 minutes. You wanna bet? Time me. And go. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to see that. <laughs> 30 minutes. Whew. 
30 minutes, man. Yeah, we'll see. See? Yeah. Told you. She bash and bash and bash. and 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 bash 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 not you paying attention. Not you actually taking me on a date? No. I just felt bad because somebody I'm related to you punched you in the face. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Come on before we're late. I don't want to miss the preview. All right, let's go. Grab me first. So, uh, you know what movie in time you want to see? Oh, well, I already got the tickets. We're going to see that new horror movie that just came out. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. um, I guess I can grab the snacks. That way it doesn't feel like an actual date. <laughs> Maybe you're right. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at the seats. Okay. All righty. Okay. <laughs> okay, not there yet. Noted. <clears throat> Damn, man, you got them 12s? Man, I was looking everywhere for them, man, but no luck. Yeah, you know, it's all about having the right connect. Yeah, well, my ex, man, she used to be the plug with the kicks. Well, her sister, actually, but that all went out the window with her, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know how that go. Uh, my best friend, his wife, yeah, she put me on all of them. Oh, connects. Are you lucky, man. 56? Oh. This me. <laughs> Let me get in there. Well, she go crazy. You know how these women be. Oh, I definitely don't. Mine probably cussing me out as we speak. Shit, you and me both. <laughs> All right, man. Enjoy. Enjoy your movie. <clears throat> hey, yo, bro. You think I can get the plug for your shoes? What size you wear? Ten and a half? Eleven? I'm gonna be real with you. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> me and you wear the same size. Some things you gotta keep for yourself, my boy. <laughs> Dirty ass shoe re-releases anyway. Still one on those, damn. Whew, it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna just go wash my hands real quick. Oh, okay, I'll be out here. Candace? Candace, Candy, what is going on, girl? Hey, hey, Dale. Look at you looking all edible. So I see you still uh, coming to the movies all alone. Uh, well, I don't see anybody here with you. <laughs> oh, baby, <laughs> you left me. <laughs> you know I can't leave until I know if there's an after credit. Mm. Uh, Candace, <laughs> meet my fiance, Ebony. Hey, girl. <laughs> Wait. Fiance? Fiance for a man who said he would never get married? Well, I guess uh, sometimes you just need to find the right one. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you still out here single, waiting for the right man to come along? <laughs> Actually, no, I'm here with my husband. My husband, <laughs> honey, <laughs> meet my ex, Dale. Ah, the sneaker plug. What's up, homie? What's good, man? <laughs> hey, so, so y'all got married a full eight months right after we broke up? I mean, would y'all just get married overnight? <laughs> how'd you know? Um, how'd you know that that was the feeling? Because he just swept me off my feet and it was like love at first sight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you know um, when you just know, you, <laughs> you know. Well, we have to go because I'm horny and we're newlyweds and you know how I get when I'm in the mood. So, yeah. Good luck with him, girl. Mm -hmm. Act like you love me. Grab my buddy. Okay. Baby, 
Baby, are you ready to sneak into the next movie? I don't want to miss the previews this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's go. <laughs> you, you lead. <laughs> that all about? Oh, what about? Uh, you acting as if you were happily married to me? <laughs> I'm guessing that was somebody you used to date and wanted to be married to? What's up with that? What's the story behind it? Well, since you must be in my business, look, we were together for three years, and one day the man told me he never wanted to get married. Yes, 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 I know. Three years of wasting my time, and marriage is off the table. So, one day while he was at work, I packed all my stuff up and I left. <laughs> oh, so you a savage. Classy, bougie, ratchet. No. Look, I just didn't want to stay around so he could convince me to stay and then waste more of my time. So do you think that's why you so no nonsense when it comes to me? <laughs> I am not. Look, I just don't have the mental stability to be somebody's test dummy. Yeah, I guess we can't have the next dude out here uh, sending you to the mental hospital in a straitjacket. Stop it. <laughs> what about you? You driving women crazy already. Who? Podcast bag. Oh my God. You gonna ride this till the wheels fall off. You will just not let this go, will you? Well, at least until that eye heals. I don't even know how you was able to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I will say one thing. When you planted those soft lips on my face, made my dick jump a little bit. Ew. <laughs> Get that thing away from me. Ah, I'm trying to jump off the dresser. Come on now. Looking pretty good. Where you headed to? I'm actually going to have lunch with your favorite girl. <laughs> well, you make sure you tell Tani I said thanks, but no thanks for the black eye. It's healing wonderfully. <laughs> I'll be sure to relay the message. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I feel kind of bad about how things went with Siobhan. I was, you know, having a little fun, but I think it went a little too far. Ah, uh, it's fine. It's probably just a losing battle anyway. It's going nowhere. I get it, but it didn't have to be. I mean, you've thought about smoothing things over where? Smooth things over? Yeah, you know, patching things up, if you will. <laughs> How do you even suppose I do that? I don't know, you're a guy. What do y'all do? Take her out, show her a good time. And apologize for me, please. <laughs> me apologizing for you doesn't change the fact that I'm actually married. I get it, but explaining the situation might. It's just a little communication. Okay, so what about no side hoes? Look, I won't say anything if you won't. Never in a million years did I think I'd be here talking to my wife about another woman. But that's besides the fact. How do we even know that she's even gonna accept my phone call? I'm a woman. And one thing I know about women is we love to spend a block, especially for some good meat. <laughs> so you think I got good meat? Chill out. All I'm saying is call a girl. What's the worst that can happen? She don't answer and you go on with your life. Yeah, fair. I guess you got a good point. I do. So why don't you go work on that? I'm going to keep getting ready because I don't want to hear Tawny's mouth, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to hear Tawny's mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I don't know. It's <laughs>
What's good, my boy? <laughs> That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> well, the short answer is, um, all this shit is getting complicated, bro. Now I'm gonna need the long answer, my boy. I'm at your house. Um, okay. <laughs> you, uh, want something to drink or something, my boy? Man, I know where the kitchen is at. What the hell is wrong with you? Tiny hit you with a two-piece and a croissant and lost two nails in the process? Who you think had to pay for that? Man, you know damn well Tani took it too far. I know. That's why I don't be messing with her like that. You know they call her Rocky Marciano in the streets? But you good, though? You good? Hell no, I ain't good. Look at my eye. Bro, this entire situation is crazy. Just when I think I'm getting closer to Candace, she up and just pulled the rug from under me. Oh, and let's not even mention Siobhan. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I heard about Savon. I mean, I heard, the, I heard the podcast. I heard the podcast. Oh, she had the audacity to put out your full government name on there. LaGordon? <laughs> you should have known better, dog. You should have. No. <laughs> Never in a million years did I think that woman would publicly expose me like that. Now, you know these hoes don't take L's privately, my boy. You know that. Shit, I see. Before getting married to Candace, <laughs> Siobhan was the number one contender. Well, how you feel about her now? I'm trying to figure it all out. You know that Candace thinks I should call Siobhan, apologize, and take her out. Yep. Okay, wait a second. Help, help me formulate this together. Your wife mm -hmm. wants you to call your ex chick mm -hmm. and take her out. Exactly. Crazy, right? Sound like she giving you a hall pass? <laughs> You're the married one. Does such a thing actually exist? In the land of men and women being equal, uh, hell no. Um, but this is an opportunity, my boy, to get them cheeks. And technically, I ain't the only one married, Mr. Overnight Matrimony. Man, whatever. What if this, like, a setup? What if Candace is playing mind games? A setup to get them cheeks? Oh my God, yeah, but. No, 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 no buts, my man, no buts, no buts. Okay, you have an opportunity to live out every married man's dream. Yeah, but these cheeks already bit me once. Okay, then bite them bitches back, man. I'm talking, get some canines, man. Use your teeth, get some fake veneers. Is that what they call, you know what? I need you to do this, come on, man. Do this for me, please, man. Listen, listen, I ain't had nothing in a while, and I'm trying to live vicariously through you, if that's a, if that's a... <laughs> Oh! So that's why Tani had all that pent up aggression and took it out on my eye. Because you ain't been holding down your husbandly duties. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, and you lucky she ain't take out your other eye, okay? You know what, let me get out of here before she come up in here and be a repeat offender, all right? And take out my eyes too. I got perfect 2020 vision. I'm not trying to get rid of that, all right? So I'm gonna holla at you later. Yeah, all right. I still can't believe you fucking married. Yeah, tell me about it. Well, I guess here goes nothing. Hello? Um, uh, hey, uh, um, uh, how you doing? <laughs> hey, how you doing, miss? Did anybody ever tell you don't be thirsty in the gym? Thirsty? <laughs> wow, all right, I was just trying to provide proper gym etiquette, you know, help you with a spot, but you got a Miss Independence. Yeah, I do, thank you. You got it, huh? Okay, I may have been a little ambitious with that last set. But thank you for rescuing me. I'm Candace. Oh, Candace? Nobody told you to be thirsty in the gym. <laughs> okay, okay, I deserve that one. I deserve that oh, one. I'm Marlon. One. Nice to meet you. Don't you think we should take this party elsewhere? No, I got a workout to finish. Oh, you working out still? Yeah. How you working out when you've been running through my mind for the last 15 minutes? <laughs> Now that one was corny. Might have been corny enough to get your number, huh? Fine. <laughs> All right, cool. Wow, it's 
about time you came to your senses. I can't even believe you tried to play with all this. <laughs> no, I wasn't trying to play. It's just been a hectic uh, few weeks, that's all. I see. You just better be glad that I got a big heart for you. Anybody else would have been done. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, I appreciate you for hearing me out. Well, I haven't heard anything yet. So start talking. Uh, where do I start? Uh, it was basically a drunk night between me and Candace, and before that, we couldn't even stand to be in the same room a few weeks ago, so there's that. And now she's your wife, and y'all live together. Any normal person would think you're lying. And y'all still fucking married! Well, uh, we tried to get it annulled, but I guess we just caught the judge on the wrong day. So what does that mean for us? I mean, I'm not about to be some married man's secret. Uh, not without a little incentive or something. <laughs> and what exactly does that mean, Siobhan? Vacation, <laughs> shopping sprees. Oh, first class all the time, <laughs> yeah. But don't you think No that... buts, LJ. And anytime I say so, you better dismiss little wifey. Because when I want it, I want it. And I mean that shit. LJ, do you hear me? LJ, did you hear me? Come on, I'm thinking maybe I'll just take care of you tonight. Maybe a massage, some dessert, maybe a movie. Come on, my treat. LJ. LJ, do you hear me, nigga? Are you agreeing to my terms or nah? Matter of fact, you better be agreeing to my terms. Do you know who I am? I'm the best you gonna get. I'm the realest one out here, and I let you have it for free. Do you understand that? This wouldn't even be a conversation if you didn't have a wife, but you do, but you must care about me because you're not with her, you with me. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah, you know I'm the best. I literally raise your stock, bro. The stock went up, even when people see me with you. Anywhere, virtually, in real life, a text message, when my name comes up, I make you better. I'm not about to play with you, <laughs> and that's on period. You know what? You might actually be right. So you ready to get out of here? Because I'm ready for you to jump up off the dresser in this thing. Oh. Oh, is that right? Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. <laughs> Check, please. And she better on gratuity. Because her service was trash. And she was looking at you like she was trying to suck your dick under the table. <laughs> You know what, Siobhan? I actually just don't even think I can do this, so let's not. Do what? Pay the bill? Please don't tell me you're a broke nigga, too. D do not publicly embarrass me like that. They must be selling Audacity by the cases. You know what, Siobhan? Fuck you. <laughs> and they had Audacity on sale. Selling it by the boatload. I bought extra for you. You know what? <laughs> I'm out this bitch. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga! And I know you ain't leave no tip. And what, who do you think? She wasn't even that great. I'm about to take this. And here you go. I'm pocketing this. This is my cell phone bill money. I am not dealing with little niggas, <laughs> broke niggas. You don't got, are you, what? Are you gonna pat me be a side? I'm not even a side, I'm a main. It's just me and you. Some strawberry shock syrup and goo. You know I know just what to do with it. Cut your phone off, girl. It ain't no use. Candace, I really oh, oh my god! LJ, get out! Oh, 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 oh I um I, I didn't know I, get, I, I um Get out! Yeah, um, sorry. Um LJ, what? Candace, I really need to talk to you. Nigga, about what? Aren't you supposed to be on a date with that girl? Fuck her. This is about us. LJ, what does us have to do with you being on a date with that girl? If you open the door, I can explain it all. God, LJ, what? Listen, listen. What? LJ, what are you doing? Would it be crazy if this is exactly what I want? What is exactly what you want? You, this, us. Look, I know that this might be a crazy situation, but maybe we can make this real, or at least try. Candace, say something. Candace! LJ, we can't do this. Look, I know you're feeling like this because I'm here right now, but we have a couple more days left. And then you get your life back. I don't want to stand in the way of it. But Candace- But what? 
You know what? Maybe you're right. Sorry for interrupting. Press the jump! I slept amazing. I mean, how could I sleep any other way after uh, last night? <laughs> well, I hope you're hungry because this breakfast has your name written all over it. Okay, check you out being all wifely. <laughs> you know, I don't know, maybe I could get used to this. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna just go check the mail real quick and then I'm all yours for breakfast. Thirty days already. <laughs> so, you ready to eat? Oh, yeah, yeah, for for sure. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> mm. Oh, I, I guess so. Oh my god, <laughs> who needs to cook like this? And breakfast is my favorite meal of the day? Damn, yeah, mama really missed this. <laughs> huh? Yeah, our 30 days are almost up. Our letter came in the mail for our court appointment. Can you believe that a month ago we got married? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy to think about. But hey, look, what, we have 36 hours and 33 minutes left? <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I should do that. <laughs> now, I know Tawny ain't the one that got you smiling that hard. Not you being in my business. Well, we're still fucking married, so technically, you are my business. <laughs> well, thank goodness that'll be over soon. Because, for your information, I met somebody. So maybe this will be my introduction back into dating. 
Oh, yeah. That's that's what's up. That's that's dope. You um you deserve that. <laughs> Thanks. Wait. The hell? Hello? This is him. Um okay. Um uh, okay, yes. Uh, I'm on, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm I'm so sorry. Um, thank you so much for breakfast, but I I gotta head out. So um, oh, I'll oh. I'll talk to you later. Oh, okay. Hello. You know what? I would actually really like that. Okay. Yeah, I'll meet you in an hour. Come on, come on. Oh, oh fine and on time. <laughs> I'm impressed. Well, you know what they say. If you're not early, are, are you, you really, really on, on time? time? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this restaurant has great food. Oh, yeah, I know. I've, I've been here once or twice. Damn. Well, I guess on our second date, I'll have to make it a new vibe for you. Some of you haven't experienced yet. I'm glad you even came to meet me on such short notice. Well, I can't lie. I was excited to see you. You know, your approach was a lot different than most. Different? <laughs> How so? Well, for one, you didn't want to watch me die when I was trying to lift those weights. <laughs> well, how could I have the woman of my dreams dead? <laughs> I appreciate that. How are you even single? I mean, you are single, right? Like. Okay, so honestly, if I explain my dating life to you right now, you would not believe me. But yes, technically, technically I am single. Technically, okay. So somebody's not gonna be mad that you out here with a real nigga like me? <clears throat> oh, so you're a real nigga, huh? You know, 100% organic, grass-fed, USDA approved. <laughs> well, I hope so, because I don't do knockoffs. Everything, everything okay? Uh, I don't know. This is my sister, and she's a little crazy. When you say crazy, like? Crazy like, if I don't answer this phone right now, she might put out a missing persons report on me. Oh. That crazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> handle that, handle that. Okay. Hello? Hello? Baby sis. Tanya, I'm a little preoccupied right now. Can I call you back? Preoccupied? Oh, wait, so you at the hospital? See, there you go being crazy. No, I'm just out. I'm not laid up in the hospital. No, with LJ. Wait, wait, why would he be in the hospital? Well, Uncle Leroy, he had a heart attack this morning. I overheard James talking to LJ and he been up there all day. Oh my God, are you serious? Girl, yes, and I think the doctors don't think he's gonna make it through or not. I mean, he hasn't woken up since LJ got there and he's really worried. Look, look, Tani, I'm gonna call you back. But I just wanted to know that- No, 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 I said I'm gonna call you back. Did she just hang up? No, doc. Okay. Every, everything, everything all right? Um, actually, it's far from it. Um, I'm gonna have to take a range of it. I mean, we were, we were just about to order. I know, I know, but please don't hate me. <sighs> Family member? Um. Or somebody that you're close to? Yeah, both, you could say. You need me to go with you? No, uh, you know, sorry. No, I, I'm, I'll be fine. I just gotta get to the hospital, um, but I will call you when I get there to let you know what's going on, okay? Okay, right. you be safe, you be safe. Candace, what are you doing here? Making sure you're good. I mean, why didn't you tell nobody Uncle Leroy was in here? I don't know. Uncle Leroy don't really like people in family business. Did you forget? He's my uncle now, too. Uncle-in-law. 
Whatever, Mr. Technical. I just didn't think you wanted to be bothered. Look, not you thinking a bitch is heartless. At the end of the day, nobody should have to go through anything like this by themselves. And we're married. You could have at least said something. <laughs> we're only married for a few more days. And like I said, I didn't think you wanted to be bothered. Well, look, we're married for a few more days, and until this is over, I'm your wife. So here I am. Fine. See, uh, Mr. Uh, LaGordon Jackson? Yes? Uh, yes, your uncle is, uh, he's awake now, so if you want to go visit him, you're welcome to. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Uh, it's family only. You're going to have to wait in the lobby. <laughs> no, doctor. <laughs> this is uh, my wife. Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. It's just, you know, we don't really see too many people getting actually fucking married these days, you know? Uh, but yeah, you're welcome to, to join him if you like. So not it. Oh, sweet faith, the Lord has answered my prayers and he know you mine. You know she mine, right, Unc? Shut up, nephew. You don't even know what to do at all. <laughs> oh my God, are you okay? Help, it's, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <clears throat> mm. Ooh. <laughs> Nothing but your beauty that got me all choked up now. Unk. <laughs> You're so sweet. Why are you so alone? <laughs> and how you doing, sweet face? I'm fine. But the question is, how are you? Oh, come on now. You know I'm fine. Can't nothing keep me down. If you so fine, how'd you end up here in the first place? Well, so I was with this little young thing, right? And she wanted me to take the blue chew. <laughs> and I got to jumping off the dresser, you understand me? And my heart, it uh, jumped off the dresser too, apparently. Oh my God. <laughs> well, I'm just happy you're back to your crazy self. <laughs> mm -hmm. You and me both. Can't nothing keep Uncle Leroy down. I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know he got punched in the face? He got, who he got punched in the face? My sister hit him. He got hit by a girl in the face. Mm -hmm. Come on now, nephew. <laughs> <laughs> that boy always got bullied as a kid anyway. Mm -hmm. On the playground, it, it, he got he bullied himself. That's the crazy part. How you bully yourself? You know? <laughs> boy, I tell you, that's why you need to get you a real man. Oh. <laughs> Uncle Leroy is him. <laughs> oh, is it? Told you I'm pushing P, baby. Hey, well, let's get you better first, and then we'll talk about that. Yes, ma'am. LJ. LJ. Mm. Hey, I just wanted to let you know Uncle LaVoy's finally asleep, okay? But everything's okay. Um, but I'm gonna head out. Uh, just call me if you need anything. Oh, okay. girl. Yeah. Um, Candace? Yeah. You think you could stay, actually? You know what? Anything you need. Monday already, huh? Mm hmm. Wow. <laughs> Look at Unk still over there asleep. Slow down, slow down now. Slow down. <laughs> oh, I don't know that I'm gonna have enough time to go home and get ready, though. Don't worry. I bought you clothes. <laughs> Let me find out you're real life Mary Poppins. Well, super califragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> I'm gonna head out, okay? I'll see you in a little bit. Right. And Candace? LJ? I really appreciate you coming through for me. It means a lot that you even stayed tonight. <laughs> Anything for you, hubby? <laughs> I'll see you later. All right, I'll see you. I'm here. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Ready to do this? Yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> it's been crazy since the last time we were here. Tell me about it. <laughs> and honestly, I could say I wouldn't have done it with anybody but you. Candace, are you sure that this Candace. is what you, <laughs> you want? Hey, Tony, <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> I know divorce can be hard, so I just thought maybe you need your bits of support. And I brought James with me because you two, y'all stressed me out. Oh. <laughs> First of all, you were way too dramatic. It's just an annulment, not a divorce. And we knew this day was coming, but... <laughs> oh, I know you'll be fine because I'm here. Well, me and James are gonna go find us a seat and you need to be coming because you don't want to be late. Come on. <laughs> Swimming. You gotta love big sis, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> Wait, what were you saying? You know what? Don't even worry about it. Let's get in there. All right, all right, so I'm with Judge Petty. All right, all right. I am here. Yes, it is me. Good evening, folks. What do we have on the docket today? Let's take a look. Ah, Chris Rock versus Will Smith. <laughs> I know we better keep his fucking wife's name out of our mouths. <laughs> ah, oh. La Gordon Jackson and Candace Jackson. We're here. It's been 30 days already. Would you please approach the bench? <sighs> well, I see as you two are uh, back here, uh, 30 days, and I trust that you two of you did your time open and honest, correct? Yes, sir, your honor. <laughs> honest? Yes, honest. And it's been good. I mean, I feel like I've got to learn a lot about LJ. I mean, La Gordon, and it's just been really nice. I feel like we're really building a good foundation and a friendship. Yeah, um, we've both learned a lot. That's <laughs> for sure. Well, 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 would you look at that? It appears that the two individuals that did not take the sanctity of marriage serious have matured. You love to see it. Well, in the case of the annulment of- One second, Your Honor. <laughs> Your two of you came in here 30 days ago to ask for an annulment and now you interrupt me? On what basis? I know, I know. Um, it's just I have to say something before this is actually finalized. This last 30 days has been extremely eye-opening to me. Say it. I know that um, when we started this journey, we couldn't be further from opposites. <laughs> Hell, even further from even having feelings for one another. Never in a million years did I even think I would be here with you, but here we are. A lot of people can be married, but I think the real test is staying married. Staying married? Well, I'll I know be he's damned. Not about to do what I think he's about to do. Yes. Candace Denise Jones, will you stay fucking married to me? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't remember nobody asking me for permission. Tawny. Uh, Miss Jones, we need your answer. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, LJ, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, by the powers vested in me, I continue to wait announce Wait a minute, you wait, wait. Oh. If one more person interrupts me in my courtroom, Everybody's getting a mandatory 30 days behind bars. Fuck with me, you know I got it. Oh, I'm sorry, Your Honor, but Candice, are you sure? Yes! 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 Oh, this is getting married! Yes! I mean, uh, technically, <laughs> she's already married. You know what I mean. Don't make me put you on punishment, James. You all might like that, but... I now pronounce you Mr. LaGordon Jermaine Jackson and Miss Candace Jackson Jones. Well, there you have it. I'll be in my chambers. Nobody disturb me. No more cases for the day. Thank you, Your Honor. Too low. Trying to wipe you up, girl. Will you be my eye? Baby, check this and So, you decided to stay fucking married. 
Yep. yep. <laughs> and uh, she brings a whole lot to my table. <laughs> so what's the next for the newlyweds? Uh, I don't know, maybe uh, head down to the house? You know, release some of this newlywed tension. <laughs> Cause newlyweds be fucking. <laughs> like crazy. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of maybe a honeymoon. Oh. It's not too often that we get people that are fucking married. What was the line? People yeah. don't really get fucking married much. Sorry, Miss. Where were you looking? You looking at Patrice? Yeah. Okay, I wasn't looking at Patrice. Okay, let's do it. I was looking past Patrice. <laughs> I was looking, okay, so look at like the top of Patrice's head only because I just thought it was a Mm. <laughs> okay, it goes on for like three chunks. Okay. New album out in action. <laughs> Go stream that. Stream platforms everywhere. Taste or bite this Godava cho go goddamn <laughs> chocolate ever. Again. We're going that line back. Okay. Let's go. <laughs>